Big Bang Physics. It began here, an hour outside of Chicago, in 1983. The Tevatron, a four-mile underground ring, was the site for atom-smashing experiments, seeking the answers to science's most fundamental questions. You can produce very different particles out of those collisions. You're basically reproducing uh, the energy conditions that you had at the beginning of the universe. But after a quarter century of service, the Tevatron is being shut down. The government-funded collider has been outpaced by a new particle accelerator run by the CERN Research Institute, located in Switzerland. Seven times more powerful, with scientists from 20 member nations. It's even attracted some of Fermilab's researchers. The Tevatron is being shut down because it is largely superseded by the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva, Switzerland. And in our field, we don't keep beating our head if we have been out down by another machine. We go and work in that machine. But back in Illinois at the Fermilab, scientists are preparing a rebirth for their facility, new and more affordable experiments, focusing on neutrinos, nearly massless particles that are all around us. As we stand here, we're getting bombarded by a sea of neutrinos. Uh, you don't feel them because they go right through you. They go right through the Earth. They're very hard to study because they don't interact or bounce off of anything. So with Project X, we hope to be able to make very intense beams of neutrinos to try and understand their properties. Project X, if it secures funding, aims to be the world's most intense, if not its fastest, particle accelerator and to give the U.S. high-energy physics lab a second chance at glory.